welcome to the Tyrant's Den. Um, to, as of this date, my the last time I reacted to Ryan George was easily the most viewed video I've ever done at over 50. Um, so there's another new video, and I'm going to go ahead and react to that, even as I'm still eating my very late breakfast. Here we go. This video is sponsored by Raycon. More about them at the end of the sketch. So then I reread the package. Turns out these things are not edible, but I've already had like oh five of these birthday balloons. That's... What? Oh. So anyway, all that to say, I need surgery pretty urgently, yeah. if you guys know anyone at all. Jeez, no, I, I don't. That, Me neither, I don't. Like... Nope. Dang it. Well, okay. Well, I guess that's just the way the cookie... So I, I gotta wonder is, um... Did he eat them inflated? Like that that's that's gonna be the biggest thing I'm curious about at the end of this is how inflated were they? Or like did he flow them out and then like suck the air back in and then he sucked them in? So they're also inside out and they're all weird and wet with saliva. Anyway. He crumbles. What? What did you say? Oh, I was just saying, like, that's the way the cookie crumbles. What are you talking about? What cookie? Why would you change the subject like that? He's talking about a medical procedure to remove five balloons from his gut. Seven balloons, actually. I forgot what I read and went back for two more. I, know, I wasn't changing the subject. I was talking about that. But I was like, what if, what if in, the, in the, this imaginary, sometimes life could be like a cookie in some ways. No. No, a cookie is like a cookie. But cookies crumble sometimes, and it's not really something you can predict. Sometimes, I guess. So what I was thinking was, man, this whole situation makes me think of the unpredictability of cookies and their whole structural integrity. So did you I'm bring really... cookies? No. I... I'm, I'm really... Wow. It's the most I've ever sympathized with this confused character. That's, yeah. Also, my brain is here like, so the first metaphor ever created in this universe was the catchphrase of Jim Carrey's character in Bruce Almighty. And this guy, he's he's gonna reveal he ate more than seven balloons. Betting on that. Also, I'm I'm. I did not. I just thought I'd try some new things with words. I thought people might enjoy it. People might start doing that too. Yeah, no, they're not structural integrity. So did you bring cookies? No, I did not. I just thought yeah, I'd try yeah, some new things there. with words. I thought people might enjoy it. People might start doing that too. Yeah, no, they're not gonna. Although this cookie talk reminds me we should leave for those lunch reservations soon. Good point, yeah, and if I'm lucky, the food will just move past the balloons. I'm so hungry, I could eat a horse. What? Oh my <laughs> okay, I'm starting to think more and more that he, they were inflated to some degree, the balloons. I'm a, and a much more classic metaphor, in my opinion, for this one. My God, Nathaniel! I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Why would you say that? We're going to a vegan restaurant. My organs Ew. hurt. I don't, it might be from the balloons, but also maybe because of how yeah, gross- vegans. I said you. Although, there, there is a very good vegan restaurant very close to me. I mean, it's run by a cult, but it's, it's, a, good, it's a good restaurant. That sound. I was just thinking maybe these are some fun word ideas to pass along to people. I don't know, maybe I'm barking up the wrong tree here. What the hell are you talking about? You haven't barked a single time and we're indoors. Well, no. Is that a, do you have a list? No. You do, he does. Oh, those are that, those are just some ideas I thought everybody might like. Like what? Beat around the bush. Oh, oh. that sounds disgusting. Yeah. Well, people would be like, let's not beat around the bush, I was thinking. That's not no one's gonna say any variation of that ever. Holes. Yeah, I never I never really thought about that metaphor as an adult. Oh. So I still don't know if it's more than seven balloons. Someone's yet. leg. That's like if you're joking. That's like, that one's if you're joking. <laughs> That's a weird one, man. That's really, really, really weird. I think we should all calm down. I feel like you guys are making a map that, that ever holds someone's leg. That's like if you're joking. That's like, that one's if you're joking. <laughs> That's a weird one, man. That's really, really, really weird. I think we should all calm down. I feel like you guys are making a mountain. Out of a molehill. Well, what does that mean now? Oh my god. One can say this situation's like a little- Okay, mountain out of a molehill, that actually kind of makes sense. Because that, that's that's treating a molehill like it's a mountain. That, that, that one actually tracks pretty well. Much better than pull my leg, you know? Little hill that moles might live in. And you guys have seen that hill and are thinking- Okay, and they don't live in the hill. The A molehill is when a mole digs a hole and it creates like a pile of dirt. That That's the molehill. 
What's that? A f- this is a mountain. You got to get this guy away from me. I'm going to punch this guy real hard. He's getting really angry. Do you think you could stop this nonsense? Yeah, okay, sure. No problem. Piece of cake. Yeah, a piece of cake might help, actually. Let's do that. All right, just give him the piece of cake. That'll calm him down. Oh, no, okay, no, that was the final. That was one last one. Get out now! Something is rupturing. This guy's going bananas! You need to leave. But it's raining out there. It's raining cats and dogs. Get out! Hi there, hello, it's me. I'm the ad I'm expecting him to what we all get. I'm just, I was wrong, okay? He did not eat more than seven balloons that we know of. I was kind of expecting him to walk, the guy to walk outside and there'd be like actual cats and dogs. Uh, real question, of course, is whether or not this takes place before or after the invention of naming. Or not. I'm out here in ad space to talk to you about Raycon. So listen, I use my ears to listen to stuff all the time, but sometimes I want to use them to listen to stuff that only I can hear. <laughs> That's where Raycon comes into play. See, Raycon makes super high quality earbuds and headphones that when you wear them, you can listen to things directly into your ears. That'll be, you'll, you'll be hearing the things and not everybody around you. You can't hear what I'm listening to, but I can. And while some companies charge a bunch of money to give you things that let you listen to stuff by only that you can hear, with Raycon, you're paying half the price for the same, if not better, quality earbuds as other premium audio brands. That means you could get a pair and a spare for the price you'd be paying for one of those other brands. Now you might be thinking, well, Adstronaut, I only have between one and three ears. Why would I need an extra pair? Well, this way you can leave a pair in your backpack or leave one at the office. There are multiple use cases. Leave me alone. You need multiple cases because you are going to lose these earbuds. Raycon Everyday Earbuds also have eight hours of playtime and come with custom gel tips for a perfect in-ear fit. So yeah, go ahead and click the link in the description box or go to buyraycon.com slash Ryan George to get 15% off your Raycon purchase. Trust me, your ears will thank you, although no, they won't because your mouth is on a different part of your head entirely. All right, here we go. Oh, and, uh, you know, thumbs that up. That was a good video. And, um... Yeah, so that's uh, important to learn. The guy who invented metaphors was beaten to death and outside deer in the rain. Yeah, I wonder what's going to happen to the guy with the balloons, though. Badoosh. All right.